The royal family has several residences and properties scattered throughout the UK, but not all of them are regularly occupied. King Charles III could soon face a difficult conversation on a key issue that has made the royal family a bit vulnerable, an expert has warned. The royal family has a number of residences dotted throughout the UK, including Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace, Windsor Castle, Balmoral Castle and Sandringham Estate. But the issue of empty royal properties being funded by the British taxpayer has been brought to the fore, particularly with so many people suffering with financial hardship during the cost-of-living crisis. The question of whether the king and his wife Queen Camilla will eventually move to Buckingham Palace has also been asked. With the couple currently staying at Clarence House when they are in London, Frogmore Cottage is also due to soon be officially vacated by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, but it remains clear who will then live in the Windsor property. Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer has explained this could soon cause a big problem and may not go down too well with British taxpayers, he told the Daily Express Royal Roundup. Lots of people are going to say the royals have lots of houses. This is a difficult one for them. They have Kensington Palace, Frogmore Cottage, which if Harry and Meghan haven't formally vacated it yet, they are about to. Who is going to live there, when the king goes up to Balmoral Estate? He stays at Burke Hall. Will other members of the family use Balmoral? Will that remain empty? Will it be opened up to the public? There are a number of properties on the royal estate on the price and taxpayer-funded side that make the royal family a bit vulnerable on this issue. Mr. Palmer also raised the question over whether King Charles and Queen Camilla will ever make the move to Buckingham Palace a huge tourist attraction for millions of people visiting the UK. He believes this.